A woman was talking to her friend and asked her, how is your diet going? The friend responded, I had eggs for breakfast. The friend said, scrambled? The other replied, no, Cadbury. <laughs> well, all of us have heard of the Stations of the Cross, the Via Cruces or the Via Della Rosa, the 14 Stations of the Cross that Christians have been praying really for thousands of years. But the Congregation of Divine Worship has recently approved the Stations of the Resurrection. I'm not sure how many of you are familiar with those, the 14 Stations of the Resurrection. I'd recommend going on Formed, the, you know, the website, and, or going on your Amen app. They have them there on your Amen app. And the Stations of the Resurrection are called the Via Luces, the Way of Light. And these are 14 meditations you can make about things that occurred from the time the Lord rose from the dead until Pentecost Sunday. You can go online, you can read these 14 stations. I'm sure there are probably booklets, prayer books that include now the stations of the resurrection. Let me just mention them to you and make a comment. The first station of the resurrection is Jesus is raised from the dead. We know that occurred early Sunday morning, the first day of the week, where the Lord came back to life and was risen from the dead and passed through the shroud walked right through the sealed tomb and began to, well, certainly the first person he went to was his blessed mother. Since she had suffered so much, certainly our Lord would have appeared to her first. The second station is the disciples find the empty tomb. We heard about that recently in the gospel where Peter and John run and discover that the stone had been rolled away. We know the angel had done that and that the tomb was empty. Number three, Jesus meets Mary Magdalene. And again, we heard this recently in the gospel of the meeting between Mary Magdalene and the Lord. Mary Magdalene did not recognize Christ, thought he was the gardener, and truly he is the new Adam, the gardener of our souls. Number four, Jesus appears on the road to Emmaus. That's today's gospel. The two disciples are walking along. Uh, Cleopas, also known as Clopas, and a disciple that is unnamed. Some people speculate that it was his wife, Mary, the wife of Clopas, which makes sense that they were going home, going back to their home in Emmaus. Plus the fact that mentions that they were arguing, so that proves that they were a married couple. <clears throat> Number five, Jesus is recognized in the breaking of the bread. And we heard that in today's gospel. Jesus, at, after he had explained to the followers of Christ, to these two disciples, that everything in the Old Testament that relates to the Lord, then it says he planned to go further, but they say, no, come in and eat with us. So he went in, and it was when he took the bread, said the blessing, broke the bread, that is Eucharistic language, it says they recognized him in the breaking of the bread. Number six, Jesus appears to the disciples in Jerusalem that occurred the night of the resurrection. All the disciples are there except for St. Thomas. So Jesus, even though they were locked in the upper room, Jesus walked right through the locked doors because he has a glorified resurrected body and he showed them his hands and feet and he said to them, you know, a ghost does not have you know, hands and feet like I do. And so he showed that he truly was alive. Number seven, Jesus breathes on the apostles and gives them his peace and the power to forgive sins. You see, he breathed on them, giving them the Holy Spirit and said, whose sins you forgive are forgiven them, whose sins you retain are retained. They were the first bishops of the Catholic Church. They passed that power on to other bishops and to priests for these past 2,000 years. And the, the ability to absolve sins was given by Christ the night of the resurrection. Number eight, Jesus strengthens the faith of St. Thomas, the doubter. This was the following Sunday, Divine Mercy Sunday. Jesus appeared again in the upper room. This time Thomas was with them. He allows Thomas to touch the wounds in his hands and his side and says, no longer persist in your unbelief, but believe. And then he pays all of you a compliment by saying, blessed are those who have not seen and yet believe. Number nine, Jesus appears to the disciples 
at the Sea of Tiberias. He told the apostles to meet him in Galilee. So they meet along the Sea of Tiberias. The apostles get bored, they go out fishing. They catch 153 fish after Jesus tells them to cast the nets on the other side. They pull in this catch of fish. Jesus is at the shore making breakfast for them at a charcoal fire. Number 10, Peter is forgiven and Jesus commands him to feed his lambs and to tend his sheep. So Peter has the opportunity to tell Jesus he loves him three times to make up for his threefold denial. <clears throat> and then he is given the commission to be the chief pastor of the Pope, to feed his lambs and to tend his sheep. Number 11, Jesus commissions the disciples upon the mountain to go into the whole world and preach the gospel to every creature and to baptize in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Number 12, the 12th station of the resurrection, Jesus ascends into heaven after being on earth for 40 days, establishing his church, strengthening the faith of the apostles. Then the Lord ascends to heaven, not to abandon us, but to be our hope. For where he has gone, the head of the church, we the members look forward to going one day. Number 13, Mary and the disciples pray the novena and wait in prayer. So for nine days, they go back to Jerusalem and they pray in the upper room from Ascension until Pentecost, the 50th day after Passover, the great feast day of Pentecost, the Holy Spirit came down upon Our Lady and the apostles. And we have this nine days of prayer that we meditate upon. And lastly, number 14, Pentecost, the Holy Spirit descends upon Our Lady and the Apostles. This is the birthday of the Catholic Church. Just as Our Lady had to be present at the birth of Jesus, she had to be present at the birth of the Church. So Mary truly, the mother of Christ and the mother of the Church. So those are the 14 stations of the resurrection, the Via Luces, the way of light. So I encourage you during this octave and during the Easter season, at least once a week, make the stations of the resurrection.